Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitja here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I'm going to be doing a twin flame reading and I'm going to be focusing firstly on the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with. Now do keep in mind, energies um, do intermingle. So some of these energies may be yours and some of this um, energy may be theirs. So I'm doing earth signs first, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this is for the month of November 2020. The deck I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Okay. So we have here a wild woman. followed by creativity. <clears throat> and we have selfhood. <clears throat> Hearth and home. Surrender. And then we have death and rebirth. Okay. And under the bottom of the deck, we have here ecstasy. Okay, earth signs. So I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. Your divine masculine or feminine. These are energies that are inside of them right now and not being able to express to you as much as they would like to. My dear earth sign, There are things about this connection and that I hold back. There are certain beliefs that I have and it almost appears as though I'm hiding things from you. I hide these things because I don't think that they would be important in your life. You may think that I'm lying and it may appear like this, that I'm hiding things. What I'm hiding is the truth that I actually want to create something with you. And I want to create something that will be long lasting. for generations to come, for the world to see. The energy that you have around you, it does show me that you are quite single. And I'm starting to feel as though you are like family to me. I'm starting to recognize that you and I have a connection. You are my hearth and home. When I'm lost, you have that ability to shine that light and I can come home. When I'm cold emotionally, you have the ability to make me warm. I have surrendered myself to you, my mind, my body, 
and my heart. And I do want to start again. I want a second chance in this connection because I do feel that there was a lack of truth in the beginning and now I want there to be truth. I do feel this eternal blissful feeling. My spirit is happy when I think of you. Just the very existence of you makes me happy. Just knowing that you're there. Okay, earth signs. <coughs> it appears... <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> It appears that the person that you're dealing with here, there were some lies. There was somebody hiding something. And the connection started to fade, started to deteriorate because of a lack of faith, trust, because of a lack of truth. But now what's happening is the person that is your twin, they want a second chance with you. Because they feel spiritually connected with you. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot and just pick one card that may come up and let's see what kind of obstacles are in the way right now. Okay. So we have here the Seven of Cups. With the Seven of Cups, it does talk about choices. Yes, this person is making a choice on starting something new with you. And so what we have here is choices, indecisiveness, and living in fantasy. This person has allowed their fantasies to influence how they view life. They are projecting onto others instead of seeing things the way that they truly are and what they've turned them into. This person has overindulged in thoughts and daydreams. So Earth sign, the person you're connecting with, um, things for them didn't seem very real in the beginning, but now suddenly they are starting to feel the sense of this reality because they can feel you. They can energetically feel your presence. And so they know that this is now very real. We have here grace under the bottom of the deck. Love that inspires us and inspires others. They're starting to realize this. They're wanting to turn their dreams into reality because before it was not a reality. And they are becoming aware of goals that they once were not aware of. They were not following their bliss and there was a sense of insecurity. There has also been, and in current times, the feeling of unworthiness. And they're also ignoring their intuition. And this is what this person is doing right now. And it is quite difficult because their mindset is quite different than yours. Okay. I have here Drawing Virtues Angel Therapy card. So I'm going to pull out one card, but there will be two messages here. Indigo. Okay. Under the bottom of the deck, you have Archangel Michael. 
So with the card indigo, the message is you are an indigo, a highly sensitive natural born leader. Now, this talks about the person that you're inquiring about. Now, I'm not actually talking about you guys, but I'm talking about the person that you're relating to, your twin. So it is your twin who is actually a highly sensitive person and a natural born leader. So they are very sensitive to energies, good energies and bad energies. And they're very easily influenced because of this. Now, if they are born a natural born leader, the cards before this was talking about feeling of unworthiness. So this is out of their character. Inherently, the way they're supposed to be is like this. They're supposed to be a natural born leader. But right now, they're not there yet. It's just important for you to know what this person's potential truly is. Now we have here under the bottom of the deck, Archangel Michael. You are working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. So Earth sign, you may have felt negativity either from this person or the people around you. Now do keep in mind that Archangel Michael is helping. I have here Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. And I'm just going to pull out three to see what messages they have for you. Okay. Okay, very nice. The situation will improve. Let go energetically. That's what you need to do to let go energetically. And this person will be pulled towards you. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is a true twin flame reading. Romance, spiritual romance. Let go and this person is going to come back around. Helpful people. Earth sign, you may have been dealing with a lot of heartache. And so what the angels are saying here is that it would be wise if you did speak to those who you can confide in. Um, a family member, um, a friend, somebody that you could just talk to and exchange thoughts and ideas in regards to the situation. So it does talk about letting go and when you do, you're going to achieve this romance. This card is very rare. It seldom comes in this, um, in this deck, but the fact that we have a twin flame reading right now, this is absolutely beautiful because this is divinely guided. The situation will improve. All right. And that's your reading earth sign. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. All right then. Hello, my fire signs. So let's have a look for November, what it is that your twin flame is feeling. Okay.
a lot of struggle, fire sign. There's a lot of struggle for you as well as them. Okay. We have here surrender, beauty, responsibility, grief, hearth and home, illusion, and sensuality. I'm going to express to you what it is that your twin is feeling towards you. My dear fire sign, I have surrendered my heart my mind and my body to you. I feel as though I belong to you. Everything about you feels so perfect. I find you to be a very beautiful person, not only on the outside but on the inside as well. You have this quality, your character, your integrity, your personality. As a human being, I appreciate this. And you have this beautiful way of making me see who I truly am. There's a reflection, a mirror. Yes, we mirror each other, but you have this way of showing me all of my faults and all of good, the good things about me. And I want to take responsibility for certain things that I have done, for the way that I've behaved. Because I was not responsible before, quite the opposite. And now I grieve. I feel sad and upset and guilty for the way things were before, for the way I was before. In you I find a hearth and home. I feel that I see myself in you. You're so close to me as though like family as I've known you before. I feel that you have this power of giving me warmth when I'm cold. And when I'm lost, you are that person that can guide me. I have been hiding behind a veil fire sign for a very long time and I do feel that it's time for me to open up and take responsibility I've been hiding and pretending and acting as if as if it does not matter to me but in actuality it does And I can't express to you how much attraction and chemistry I have for you. Every part of you just radiates with such sex appeal. I admire you as a person, but this chemistry that I have in my heart and my mind for your body is off the charts. You are very hot and you are very fiery. You are very beautiful. You are very handsome. Okay, 
fire signs. <laughs> this was actually a pretty good reading because this person is coming around understanding that they need to take responsibility for their actions. They are upset because they've done something quite terrible to you and they're finally starting to see the way, the ways of the world. Um, and they want to open up. They don't want to be hiding and having this illusion, this living in this fantasy. They want to make this real now. Fire sign, they were ignoring their intuition. That's what was happening. They knew that there was something there, that there was this connection there, but there's certain aspects that they were simply just ignoring. And that was annoying. All right, I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. And I'm going to have a look at any obstacle that may be causing an issue. Princess of Staffs. Okay. So we have here the Princess of Staffs. Now, the Princess of Staffs does talk about this person wanting to communicate something very important but not being able to communicate properly. This is an inexperienced person who may be very passionate but not very experienced. So they may be very passionate physically but they're not experienced in terms of a soul connection, in terms of emotional connections. So there's a little bit of an issue in that case um, with this particular individual. Now what's happening here is there's too much energy that this person has and not enough focus. So you may actually notice that this person invests their energy elsewhere and that kind of upsets you. Um, and you notice that they do not spend enough time or energy on you and that is very natural, that is upsetting. There's too much energy that this person has and there's not enough focus. Ideas and messages that fizzle out after initial enthusiasm. So the character of this person is, yes, they may have had wonderful plans and ideas with you in the beginning of this connection, but now what, you're, what they're experiencing, the reason why they're doing this, is the enthusiasm that they have has fizzled out. It's faded away over time. Whatever happened, happened too fast. It happened suddenly, and that was a problem. Because it needed to start slowly, but twin flames are like that. It's hot and heavy. That's just the way it is. And then we have here the five of coins. So this person is feeling... They're hopefully, they're having faith for the future. They are hoping for a more prosperous phase in life. However, they do feel that they are impoverished in a way. Spiritually, they feel very poor. They feel a sense of insecurity. And they don't feel as though they have any type of resources. They feel a lack of wealth in their life. They also feel the sense of emotional sterility. If this person, two times, this has popped up now here and here, um, emotional immaturity. So they're not in that type of mindset yet where they are experienced in terms of love and romance. Okay, so we have here angel therapy cards by Angel um, Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay. All right, this came out earlier. And so this message is for you. This message, Fire Sign, specifically for you. Archangel Michael, 
You're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is protecting and guiding you through the situation. So don't worry about it. He is protecting and guiding you. Just call upon him, request, and give him permission, and he will be there to help you with the situation. Emotional sensitivity is under the bottom of the deck. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So you see sometimes, fire sign, you end up engaging in harsh situations with harsh people. What the angels are saying here is avoid that. You are emotionally sensitive and you need to honor that. Stay away from harsh people, harsh situations. Now we have here Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue. There's something better. No need to worry. Unlikely. Okay. Now, fire signs, keep in mind that twin flames are not always meant to be in a romantic relationship with us. We don't always get to marry them um, or just live with, live with them or be in partnership with them in a romantic way. Sometimes that just doesn't happen. And sometimes that's not meant to happen because these cards are indicating exactly that. Now this may resonate just for a few of you. The angels are saying here that there's something better in terms of love and romance than this person. They want you to remain positive and there's no need to worry. They do feel that unlikely it's going to work out with this twin. If you think that you are going to be with this twin in a long-term committed relationship, it's unlikely going to be in that way. They're most likely going to be a friend for life. That is what's something better. Something better means, let's say if you get married to your twin flame, as an example. I know not everybody wants to get married, and that's fine. Um, but this is an example. Let's say you do get married, okay? And it doesn't work out because you're just so close together. Sometimes that happens. And eventually you get a divorce. What happens in the end? For the rest of your life, your twin is somewhere else and you can still feel that effect. However, if you would have remained a friend, which is something better, from now until the end of time, until the end of your life, you could be friends for the rest of your life. And this is not a normal friend. This is above and beyond type of friendship. This is a very deep friendship, a spiritual friendship. This is better. Being that teacher, being that lover, being that muse, this is better than a simple romantic connection. This is what the angels are trying to say here. You may think that love is the end-all be-all. No, it's not. This particular individual is very different. They were here for a very different reason, to be with you in a very different way. I hope I was able, Fire Signs, to clarify that little bit. All right. Let me know in the comments below what you think. <laughs> All right, guys. And that was your reading, Fire Signs. Thank you so much. Hello, air signs. So this reading is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's have a look at the twin flame journey and where you're at with your twin flame. 
What is it that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently? Awakening. Creativity. Mothering. And under the bottom of the deck, we have death and rebirth. All right, air sign. I'm going to express to you what it is that your twin is feeling towards you currently. My dear air sign, I am confused and stuck in between gray thick clouds not knowing where to go, what to do. I'm unaware of where to go because there is fog in front of me, behind me on this path left and right. There's this journey I'm supposed to take but I might take the wrong road, the wrong route, the wrong turn and therefore I don't move. I stand still. My destination is you. There's no doubt about it. I have fallen completely in love with you. Unconditional love. It's a very strange kind of love. I don't even know you that much, but I love you so much. And it's so odd that it sometimes frightens me. There is fear and you make me very nervous. I am coming to this realization, this awakening moment that this love that I have for you it needs to be recognized, it needs to be celebrated, it needs to be shared with you. I want to create something with you, something that will be long lasting for the world to see, for generations to come. And I've come to the awakening that nobody has ever treated me the way that you do. You love me unconditionally and you protect me, you keep me safe, you nurture me. I feel safe from all harm. And what has happened before, I want to lay to rest and I want to start something new. I want to have a second chance with you. Maybe we can go at this again, but this time it'll be different. This time there is mutual love. sign that sweet there's a lot of love here this is very sweet this is more emotional spiritual love and there's 
not much emphasis right now on any type of lust. Not at all. This is very pure. The person you're connecting with. All right. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot. So I'm going to have a look at one of the main obstacles or any issues that is causing the both of you not to come together. Let's have a look. The Six of Cups. And we have the Princess of Arrows. So with the Six of Cups, this does talk about having wonderful memories and innocence that used to be once when you had first met. What they want to do is shed thoughts and the constraints that are holding them back. They're feeling restricted by past memories and things that are haunting them. They know that they've lost harmony. There's a sense of cynicism in this connection right now from their side. What they want to do is heal and rebuild these memories with you. And then we have Princess of Arrows. This person has been waiting for news, waiting for communication from your side. The ability to create influence and bring understanding. So this person has the ability to influence people and to bring understanding to a situation. But what they're doing is they're just waiting around for now because there's a lack of understanding as what they would like to know. There's lack of understanding in relation to this twin flame connection. And they are being a little ignorant and they are quite confused. So this is exactly it. This person is confused where you had the order and chaos card right in the beginning you had that here so the fact that they are feeling confused that goes very well with this because the one card that popped up was love and then you had mothering the love card this person has no idea why they're in love with you they're confused and they're not understanding how this could be. Air signs, you understand why. But this person does not. Not yet, at least. I have here angel therapy cards by Doreen Virtue. Have a look. Hmm. Third eye chakra. Okay. So we have here third eye chakra and under the bottom of the deck, you are a powerful light worker. Third eye chakra talks about it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels auras, and visions. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you, air sign, to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So these two seem to me very much right now. Connect to your heart and connect with the divine. Both of these are talking about opening up your mind, opening up your heart and seeing the world 
for what it truly is. Now, if this person has love for you, but they don't know why, this is up to you to teach them how and why, to explain about this love. It's a mystery to them. Now, I have here Angel Answer Oracle Cards. This is by Doreen Virtue. Okay. And some messages regarding this connection. Improving health. Wow. Your health has been affected because of the certain issues in this connection. And then we have compromise. Abundance under the bottom of the deck. So the angels are saying here that it is up to you to let this situation settle the way it is. There's going to be a compromise. And if you want it to happen, you will let this happen. If you don't want it to happen, it's not going to happen. It's all up to you. You will be receiving abundance in the coming future. And in the meantime, your health will be improving. Some of the anxiety, um, the depression, the stress, that will be becoming less for you. Now, if you do feel the need with improving health in regards to your chakras, I do have something on my website and it's called Chakra Checkup. <laughs> so I can actually remotely uh, find out what chakras are out of line, out of balance for you. And I have a package that uh, I deliver digitally online and then we just go through all of the methods and then pretty soon your chakras will be back in line. So if anybody is interested in that, and aligning also means getting rid of negative energies that are blocking your centers. That's one of the main things that I focus on, getting rid of negative energies so that everything in your body, especially your energy centers, um, this is metaphysical type of study. It's a totally different type of uh, pseudoscience. So do keep in mind that it's more focused on energy because the energy centers are causing issues and manifesting and leaking into your actual feelings, your, your um, depression, anxiety, as well as stress. It's all amplifying. So have a look at that if you guys are interested. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be a compromise. So it doesn't seem here that it's going to be a um, hundred percent exactly what you want it's going to be a little bit of what they want as well so there will be a compromise in this connection but you're going to get abundance and they will too just keep in mind they need somebody to teach them how to love and it appears that you are that person. All right, air signs. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I'm going to start with water comes next. Hello, my water signs. So this reading is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Let's have a look at what your twin flame is up to and what they're feeling for you. Okay. We have your beauty. Awakening. Then we have doubt. OK. 
Okay, quite nice. Then you have relationship. Followed by sensuality. mothering under the bottom of the deck is healing that's a very important card for twin flames this person water sign is starting to heal they need healing so it's almost over this is going to resonate just for some of you not everybody's on the same path at the same time but this is for those of you who have already been through hell <laughs> and back and now this person is finally starting to heal it will be after this healing that they will actually reach out to you the way that you want things to be all right so i'm going to express to you cancer scorpio pisces what it is that this person's feeling towards you My dear water sign, I feel that you are so beautiful, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. And you have this way of making me see who I truly am. You hold up a mirror to me and all the things that I do that are good as well as bad. I get to see what I'm truly like. You're a beautiful human being. And I truly appreciate your character, your personality, your integrity. I've come to this awakening moment. Something has changed inside of me. My perspective on everything has changed. Life seems so different now. And I'm doubting that things will ever be the same. I'm doubting that you would want to be in a relationship with me ever again after all that I've put you through. I want a relationship with you. I've thought about this over many moons, many nights. A lot of time has gone by, months, even years. And what I want is a relationship with you, a romantic one. Because there is this boundless chemistry that I have with you, this attraction that's just off the charts. I find you very beautiful, handsome, graceful. Your eyes, your hands, every single part of your body, everything is just divine. And with you, I've experienced something that I didn't experience before a sense of unconditional love, protection, affection, compassion, and love that I didn't deserve back then, but you still gave it to me. Now all I'm trying to do is heal, rethink, retrace my steps, trying to be a better person. I need to heal first. I'm isolating myself. I'm forcing myself into a stage of being lonely. Contemplating about life, contemplating about you and me and things. 
between us that have happened. All I know is that I want a relationship even after I've healed. But I want to gain a better perspective on everything first. All right, water sign. That is very beautiful. That's very nice for a twin flame reading. Beautiful. It's so natural to give unconditional love for those of you that are in it and understand it. It's so powerful and it's so natural. All right, guys. I have here the Lover's Path Tarot, and I'm going to have a look at what obstacle is causing the main issue here. Seven of Arrows, and under the bottom of the deck, we do have Ace of Staves. So with the Seven of Arrows, this person has been defensive. They've been a little protective of themselves. They don't want someone to come close to their heart. Why? Because they've been feeling vulnerable. That's why they don't want to feel vulnerable. There's a sense of paranoia here with this individual. And feeling defensive, there's a sense of guilt even denying the need for any type of protection. Okay, so this person's feeling paranoid and defensive and guilty for what they put you through. They don't want to be vulnerable, but they can't help it because they want to be in a connection with you. This is why, after this paranoia and after this guilt, being all defensive and feeling no need to protect themselves they finally retreated into that hermit mode that you saw on this side earlier. So that's what they're like now. And that's what they're going to be for a while. Then we have Ace of Staves. The Ace of Staves does talk about the fact that this person wants to gain the energy to grow, take action, and have something new. But they're not able to do this. There is a lack of this. Yeah. The masculine or yang aspect of life is missing. The drive is gone. They just... They're just retreating and contemplating about life for now. So they're not taking action, they're not taking charge, and they're not going to for a while difficulties starting anything new not being able to focus on a lot of things that's what this person is going through right now so they might completely ignore you perhaps and now you know that there are certain reasons why there's a sense of insecurity they just did it they just can't they physically can't all right, I have here Angel Therapy Cards by Doreen Virtue. Let's have a look at what the message is. If you get nervous, focus on service. Now it's funny, both of these things talk about working. Um, workshops and seminars, in fact. So you have here, if you get nervous, focus on service. So the message is, water sign, put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And let the law of attraction, let it automatically take care of your needs. 
Under the bottom of the deck here, you do have workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. Now, water sign. This doesn't have to be related to healing, meditation, spiritualism, um, yoga. It doesn't have to be that. If you are an English teacher, if you are somebody that loves history, you can teach this as well. Whatever knowledge you have gained in your lifetime, if you are equipped and you're really good at, at it, someone who does not have that knowledge will look up to you. And this is what this means, that have a look at the things that you can explore in your own life. It seems to me the reason why this therapy card is coming for you. Water sign, you might have been thinking a lot about this person. And we know that this person's not going to come back anytime soon, right? So the angels are telling you here to keep yourself busy. If you get nervous about the situation, focus on service. Try to do some work or try to do some workshops and some seminars because they know that this person is going to take a while. So in the meantime, you can focus on other things. Okay. Now, we have here Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, this fell straight out. Ask your angels. So you can pray to God and these particular angels they work for Jesus and Jehovah. The angels are Archangel Michael, Raphael and Gabriel. So you can request and give permission to the angels to help you with this particular situation and even enlighten you in different ways. So it does say here, ask your angels, big happy changes, within the next few months, and under the bottom of the deck, unlikely. Okay. So yes, you can ask your angels, and they will hear you. There are going to be big happy changes. So there's going to be changes, they're going to be big, and you're going to be happy. Within the next few months. Now these next few months, this is from, it could be seven to eight months even. Um, do keep in mind time is fluid, so this may not resonate with everyone at the same time. But the angels are saying here that within the next few months, things are going to change for you. You had a particular plan in mind. You had a particular type of idea. It's not going to work out the way that you thought it would. So, water sign, expect the unexpected. But whatever you're going to receive, you're going to be happy about it. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading and received some guidance and some clarity on some situations. So I'll see you again next month. And take care. Stay safe. All right, then. Bye now.